Well, Danilo Cavalcanti was transported to Pennsylvania State Police Barracks in Avondale. That's where we find our Nikki Dementri. Good afternoon, Nikki. Good afternoon, Jim. Right now, we are waiting for Cavalcante to come out of these police barracks. Police say they will give us a time. That time frame is unknown at this point, but he will be coming out of this front door. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see a little bit about what's going on. There are helicopters above just waiting to capture. You can see Chopper 3 is above, too, just waiting to capture Cavalcante. Put in a Bearcat, then he will be moved to a state correctional facility. And I also want to point out here, we're not the only ones out here. The media. There are dozens of community members here, whether they're from Coatesville or they're from just here in Kennett Square. So many people told me they came here because they wanted to see with their own two eyes Cavalcante. Now that day 14 is here, and now that this entire manhunt is over. I want to show you a little bit of video from Chopper 3 this morning. Cavalcante was no longer wearing that Eagle sweatshirt we saw him in when he was captured. Instead, he was shirtless, wearing shorts, and had a tinfoil wrap around him. Something like you'd see runners wear after running a marathon to keep them warm. This is around 945 this morning, as I mentioned. It's 1207 right now. He was supposed to be questioned inside. They said they were going to be bringing in an interpreter to help that questioning process. It's unclear if questioning did happen or not, but again, we are just waiting for him to come out. I want you to take a listen to some things folks had to say while they were here waiting for all of this to unfold. Mal. Um, I haven't been able to sleep for 14 days um, living in the county. I've just been sleeping like a little bit, you know, every here and there, but it's just affected the community, you know, just looking over our shoulders and not being able to sleep as he at my door. So I just wanted to be able to see him get captured and we all get peace. You know, everybody was keeping an eye out and, you know, all the tips and the hotline calls, every, everybody helped. So it was, it was good to know that everybody could rally together and, and finally get him caught. Thank God. We're so very happy. I mean, my mother lives in Crosslands, her grandmother, and I'm just a mile up the road. It's just been crazy, just scared and worried for people. You no, know, they did their job. That's what they were, that's what they're here for. So we're all safe and he didn't hurt nobody else. It's a win. Bringing it back out here. Bringing it back out here live, you see so many people are standing on the other side of the state police barracks fence. They have their phones out. They're waiting to capture this moment, just like we are, too. So many people have been following every single step of this manhunt since day 14. Now, we did just learn from police that Cavalcante will be serving that life sentence for killing his ex-girlfriend at SCI Phoenix Prison. That's in Montgomery County, not too far away from here again. Right now, we are just waiting for him to be brought out of the barracks and moved to that correctional facility. For now, live in Avondale, Nikki Dementri, Jim, back to you. Thank you, Nikki. Appreciate it.